Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. We are gonna do some yoga for digestion. It's also great for a little bit of hip opening if you have lower back pain. It'll gently get into some of that lower back pain. Um, it's a really great practice if you're just new to yoga, starting for the first time. It's a pretty simple practice, less than 20 minutes. You can do it in the morning before you go to work. You can do it before you go to bed at night. It might help to put you right to sleep. Um, let me know what you think. If you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know if you want some more. I'd love to create some more videos for you. Allowing your sit bones to sink into your mat. Pull your belly button into your spine. Get a nice tall, long spine as you drop your hands alongside your hips. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Take a nice deep breath in, filling up your belly into your chest, and then exhale from your chest and your belly all through your nose. And then we're gonna place your right hand alongside your right hip. Inhale the left hand high. Drop that left shoulder away from your ear, but elongate that arm nice and tall. Gaze up to your left fingertips. Keep your spine nice and long and take a few deep breaths in. In through your nose and out through your nose. As you exhale, you're gonna place your left hand alongside your left hip. You're gonna inhale the right arm nice and high. Again, tucking that right shoulder into your spine while you're elongating that arm up to the ceiling. Gaze up to your right fingertips. Nice, tall, long spine. As you exhale, drop the right hand alongside your right hip. Place your hands behind you, fingertips pointing towards your hips. You're gonna inhale your chest through the shoulders. So drop your shoulders down and back away from your ears. Pull your chest through your shoulders and allow your head to drop back just gently, keeping your neck in line with your spine. This is really a nice opening, a gentle back bend. Opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders. As you inhale, you're gonna come back to the center. Bring your hands to your knees. Exhale out all your breath. You're gonna inhale your arms nice and high, gaze up to your fingertips. As you exhale, you're gonna to twist to your right. Allow your left hand to rest on your right knee. Plant your right hand behind you, fingertips pointed toward the back wall. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna to twist to the right. Using your left hand and your right hand to guide you to move a little bit deeper with each breath. Inhaling and exhaling. On your next inhale, you're gonna come back to the center, rest your hands on your knees, release your breath. And then we're going to inhale up to high to the sky again. Gaze up to your fingertips. Twist to your left. Right hand rests on your left knee. Left hand sits behind your hips. Fingertips pointed to the back wall. Get a nice tall, long spine. With each inhale and exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Using your hands to guide you a little bit deeper. On your next inhale, you're gonna come back to the center and then exhale out all your breath. As we take another deep inhale and exhale, you're gonna walk your hands forward, allowing your chest to fall to the floor, moving your neck in line with your spine. This is a great lower back stretch. Pulling your belly button into the base of the spine and with each breath, try to move a little bit deeper. Again, allowing your hands to guide you and to move your upper body a little bit deeper into the stretch. Keeping your shoulders tucked away from your ears. Inhaling and exhaling. On your next inhale, you're gonna walk your hands back up towards the hips. You're gonna move on to your hands and knees. 
Your wrists are right under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. Your spine is in neutral position. We're gonna move into some cat-cow. So as you inhale, you're gonna drop the belly to the floor. Exhale, round the back up to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Keeping your fingers nice and wide, spread apart. Exhaling. Last one, inhaling and exhaling. And then we're gonna move into a neutral position with our spine. Then we're gonna inhale the right arm high to the sky. So planting your left palm into the center of your chest, inhale the right arm high, gaze up to your fingertips just for a couple breaths here, in through your nose and out through your nose. As you exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left, rest the right side of your chest onto the mat. You can stay here or you can bring that left arm around the base of your spine and try to grab onto the inside of the right thigh to open up that twist a little bit deeper. Your right palm is flat on the mat. Then inhaling, coming back to center, plant that left palm onto the ground, right palm meets the left, so you're back in the cat-cow position, neutral spine. We're gonna inhale the left arm high as we plant the right arm to the center of our chest. Stay here for a couple of breaths, inhaling and exhaling through your nose, gaze up to the ceiling. On your next exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right planting the left side of the head onto the mat. If you wanna take it a little bit deeper, you can bring that right arm to the base of the spine and try to wrap it around the inside of the left thigh. The left palm is flat on the mat. And take a few deep breaths here. Inhaling, coming back to center, plant both palms onto the mat once again for cat-cow position. And then we're gonna spread our knees nice and wide, moving into wide knee child's pose. So spread your knees nice and wide, allow your hips to fall into your heels, walk your palms all the way out so you have nice elongation of the spine. And then as you exhale, allow your forehead to drop to the floor. Try to use your palms to assist you here to push your hips a little bit further back into your heels. Get a nice long stretch in your spine. This should feel really good on the lower back. Pulling your shoulders down and back away from your ears. And take a few deep breaths here. You're also getting a nice hip opening here. As you inhale, walk your hands back up towards your knees, back into your neutral cat-cow position, bringing your knees together. We're gonna move into puppy pose. Walking your hands all the way out in front of you. This time your hips are gonna stay right over top of your knees. This is just a gentle back bend, letting gravity pull your chest down towards the mat, allowing your chin to sit on the floor Palms spread nice and wide, hips pointed all the way to the ceiling. So your knees are on the mat here, your toes are pointed to the back wall, your hips are directly over your knees. You're allowing your chest to naturally fall to the floor. You should feel a nice opening in your shoulders and your chest. As you inhale, you're gonna walk your palms back towards your knees. And then we're just gonna gently sit on the left side or the right side, whichever is more comfortable for you, and then bring your legs out in front of us. Pull the flesh out from underneath your sit bones. You can walk on your hips a little bit to do that. Plant your palms alongside your hips. Pull your shoulders up to your ears and then drop them gently between your shoulder blades. So nice, long, spine here, keeping your neck neutral in line with your spine, pulling your belly button into the base of your spine for a little bit of a core engagement. Engage your thighs. 
contracting your inhale your arms up as you exhale you're going to drop your hands either to your feet to your calves or underneath your knees wherever is most comfortable try to keep a nice long spine here if you need to bend your knees that's perfectly fine the trick here is to keep inhaling and exhaling this can be a challenging pose for tight hamstrings so a slight bend in the knee is fine but keep breathing in through your nose and out through your nose flex your toes towards your body try to keep your neck in line with your spine and again pull your shoulders away from your ears inhaling and exhaling try to get a little deeper with each breath engaging your core by pulling your belly button in the base of your spine as you inhale you're going to slowly bring your upper body back over your hips plant your fingertips behind your hips pointing to the front of the room again a little baby back bend pulling your chest through your shoulders for a little counter pose keeping your neck in line with your spine We're going to cross our right foot over our left thigh, flexing our left foot towards our body, planting our right hand behind our hips, fingertips pointed to the back wall. Inhale our left hand high to the sky and then twist, bringing your left tricep to the outside of the right thigh. You can keep your palm pointed to the side wall or you can bring your left hand to the right hip to give you a little bit more assistance in a deeper stretch. With each exhale, try to move a little bit deeper into that twist. Nice tall, long spine. As you inhale, you're gonna move your upper body back to neutral to the center. And then we're gonna bring our left foot to the outside of our right thigh flexing our right toes towards our body, planting our left hand behind our hips, fingertips pointed at the back wall, inhale the right hand to the sky, and then twist, gazing over your left shoulder. Bring your right tricep to the outside of the left thigh. With each exhale, move a little bit deeper into that twist if you wanna Give yourself a little bit of assistance. You can bring that right hand to the outside of the left hip. Inhaling and exhaling. Move a little bit deeper into that twist with each exhale. Bringing it back to center. You can wiggle out those thighs a little bit. And then we're gonna move down gently onto our back. Preparing for some great digestive moves. Very simple, but very effective. On our backs by engaging our thighs and our upper body. So just roll, wrapping your arms around your knees and roll a little bit on your spine. Dropping your head to the ground. We're gonna go ahead and release our left leg out straight in front of us, toes pointed to the front wall. And then fingertips interlaced around the front of your shin. Pull your right knee towards your shoulder. Keep your neck in a nice, long, neutral position in line with your spine. You can bring your knee a little bit deeper into your shoulder. You can do circles here if you want. Engage that left thigh. That left thigh is still engaged. Bringing both knees up to center. Again, hug your knees tightly into your chest. And then we're gonna release our right thigh out to the front of the room. Right toes pointed to the front of the room. Engage that thigh as you pull your left knee into your left shoulder, into your chest. Again, nice long spine. Keep that neck nice and long. Remember to inhale and exhale. We're still using our ujjayi breath inhaling your knees back into your chest along at that left leg and then we're going to twist by allowing our left hand to come to the outside of the right thigh guiding it to the left side of our body 
elongate our right arm to the right side of our body and gaze to your right hands. Opening up the hips, opening up the thigh and the lower back. Nice deep Ujjayi breaths. Inhaling back to center. Squeeze your thighs into your chest. One more time. And then we're going to elongate our right thigh. Got it wrong there. <laughs> our right thigh. And then we're going to grab onto the outer left leg, pulling it to the right side of our body with our right hand. Elongate our left hand out to the left side of our body and gaze at those left fingertips for a nice, beautiful, open twist. This should feel really nice on your spine. Remember to inhale and exhale. And then we're gonna inhale back to neutral position. Last time, squeezing our thighs into our chest and then bringing our heels just to the base of our hips. You should be able to touch your heels with your fingertips. We're gonna move into a bridge pose. So gently just pull your hips up to the ceiling. Walk your shoulders in towards each other as much as you can. Try to keep your chin pointed to the ceiling. Put your hips high, put your chest through your shoulders. You can keep your fingertips towards your heels or you can clasp your hands underneath your hips. Again, walking your shoulders in a little bit closer together and take a few deep breaths here. Pulling your knees in together, not touching, but as if you're squeezing a volleyball between your knees. Toes should be pointed in slightly. Sometimes little tweaks make a big difference in the pose and the posture. Remember to engage your ujjayi breath. Gently release your hips back down to the mat. Say hello to your dog if you have a dog by your side. And then we're going to bring our knees back into our chest one final time. Give yourself a nice big squeeze. You can roll around a little bit if that feels good to you. Take one last deep inhale in through your nose and exhale out through your nose. Moving into Shavasana. Allow this time to be yours, to be silent for a few minutes, emptying your thoughts and creating space in your mind. Ending yoga with a dog is the perfect way to end. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste, my friends.